Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Dot Mod. It has been a while since I've taken Cold Waters for a spin, but it is still just as enjoyable as I remember. Today we are taking out the County Class Guided Missile Destroyer, which is quite a bit of fun. It's my first time really checking out any of the Royal Navy ships, so it should be interesting. Anyway, let me know what you would like to see next in Cold Waters with Dot Mod, and I hope you all enjoy. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Dot Mod. We are aboard HMS Devonshire, a county class guided Hello, missile destroyer, and we have three, multiple three, contacts five, already seven, identified. Zero, Let's increase speed to 20 knots. Three, we have two Krivax out here, three, which are engaging uh, with guns. Let's begin engaging with our own 4.5 inch gun. Additionally, we do have four Exocet missiles in these forward tubes here. And we are going to engage this first Krivak. One away. One exoset. Let's engage a second. Additionally, we have sea slugs, which we are going to fire towards the enemy, which will hopefully intercept these missiles from the Krivak. Increase speed, 32 knots. We are taking fire. We're getting right into the action. Our guns are pretty accurate towards the Krivak. Let's see. Hopefully our exosets will get through here. They are closing in. Our sea slugs are closing in on these incoming missiles as well. Come on. There we go. Taking them out. Let's engage with more sea slugs, please. One away. Two away. Okay, our exoset is closing in on the Krivak. It might actually end up hitting here. Here we go. Impact. There we go. Krivak taken care of. Deploy chaff. Deploy chaff. We have an incoming missile. Okay. Missile one overhead. We do have sea cats, which can also engage incoming missiles. The second Krivak is now our target. Open fire. Open fire. Keep deploying chaff. This is what the county class does best, is provide anti-air and missile defense via the sea slugs and sea cats here. These sea cats are these small little missiles, which hopefully will go and successfully intercept these incoming missiles from the Krivak. Okay, we have two sea slugs. Fire one, fire two. And let's send an exoset towards the Krivak to keep deploying chaff. There we go. There's another launch from the Krivak here. Exoset is running. You know what? Let's fire our second one. Additionally, guns open fire. Make sure you are engaging. There we go. Come on. Oh, shoot. Are they going to take care? Uh, yep. Our exoset was not shot down it's still heading towards the target love to see it another missile is heading to intercept though let's see okay it missed we have an oscar here as well which we are going to have to deal with more sea slugs one away two away they keep missing with the exoset and what the what the heck the oscar is on the surface it's launching a missile okay engage the oscar with guns engage the oscar with guns I have no idea why she surfaced. Um, let's see what... There's a freaking granite coming our way. Of course there is. Okay, let's see what our exoset ends up going for. It's going for the freaking Oscar. You were not the intended target. But... And it missed. I can't tell if it actually hit or missed the Oscar. That is actually not good. We are out of exosets now. We only have four, unfortunately. So we're going to have to take out the Krivak with our guns. Keep closing, though. Keep engaging with sea slugs. We do not want to be on the receiving end of a granite. I have no idea why this Oscar decided it would be a good idea to surface. She just fired a torpedo. Okay, deploy chaff. There is a missile overhead. And I wish we had more exosets. How's this Oscar looking? She's still on the surface. Keep firing with guns. Engage as quickly as you can. 
We can fire our sea slugs in an anti-ship mode. Let's do that. Let's fire one towards the Oscar. There we go. Sea slug out. This has already proven to be quite action-packed. Something just freaking exploded out there. I think a missile just hit the water. Okay, another launch from the Krivac. Okay, keep engaging this Oscar. Let's deal with her. Maybe she had a radiation leak or something. Yeah, she blew ballast. You know, a good old hunt for Red October moment here. Let's see how our... Now, she is taking on water in the stern, though. Keep engaging her. There we go. I think our missile ended up going for the Krivac. Because she is ablaze from the bow. All right. More sea slugs. One away. Two away. Fire two sea slugs. Got quite lucky in this. There's also Sierra 4 out here. We need to also change course. Change course. Because there is another submerged contact out here. Keep engaging this Oscar with guns. Krivak is not looking good. She was just hit again. It looks like the Oscar is getting her flooding under control. Two missile. Missile went right for the Oscar. One hit. Two hits. She is still afloat, though. My goodness. Two sea slugs hit her. We're continuing to engage. Looks like the Oscar is having trouble staying afloat now. It looks like she's heading straight for the bottom. Let's check out what's going on. We are engaging the Krivak with guns, and the Krivak has been destroyed. Perfect. Okay, now that the enemy Krivak is destroyed, it is time to get our helicopter airborne. Let's reduce speed to 10 knots. 10 knots, get our helicopter up. Take it off. It has two Mark 46 torpedoes. We are going to send it off towards Master 3, which is the Oscar. We're slowing down so we can hopefully hear incoming torpedoes. We saw the Oscar definitely fired a fish at us. Let's see what she's up to. Looks like she may end up settling on the seafloor here. We can see the other Krivak over here on the seafloor as well. Oof. This does not look good for her. Reduce speed to five knots, turn on active sonar. Figure out where Sierra 4 is. We're going to go and drop two torpedoes right on Master 3, and yeah, she is settling. Okay, one torpedo has been detected. This is its track. We are clear of it. Let's check on our Krivak friends. This one is going down. We can see that's the Exocet hit, I'm sure. What a very intense battle right from the start. And okay, we are tracking Sierra 4. We have one torpedo here. Con sonar, Sierra Victor 4 1. Is classified as submerged submarine. Con okay. Sonar, launch transient from Sierra okay, I'm going to have our helicopter head that way towards the Victor. That is the primary threat right now. I'm going to fire a torpedo towards the Oscar. I'll have it zigzag. Actually, no need to zigzag. Just go straight. We'll have it use passive sensors as well. Fire one towards the Oscar. All right, torpedo away. We have picked up the incoming torpedo, and I'm thinking of the best way to get around it. I think that is by heading Come left two, two, three, south, three, increase nine. speed to flank. Get out of the way. What's this Oscar up to? Okay, it's still hanging out on the bottom. Our helicopter is right over the target. All right, I want you to drop right in front of her, please. Oh my gosh, why is this sub on the surface? All right, drop. That's so strange. Okay, torpedo away. All right, torpedo is already acquired. 
Okay, she dropped a noisemaker. It looks like she's trying to submerge again. I do not know why these submarines are hitting the surface <laughs> so much. It is an interesting, uh, interesting behavior here. I'm glad it submerged again. I don't want this to seem too easy. Okay. Drop right on top of her. A second fish, please. And let's keep running. They did fire wake homing torpedoes at us. Maybe we can navigate between these icebergs here. And that should help throw off the fish. Let's see. Okay. You know, the Victor 1 may have been attempting to surrender. Who knows? All right, come on, drop, drop, drop. Drop right up behind her. Or in front of her, if that works. How's this Oscar looking? Torpedo's still running towards the Oscar, and we are running. This Victor is dealing with the one torpedo. Just drop over here. There we go. Torpedo away. The torpedo should be able to acquire. It immediately went for the countermeasure, but that's okay. Oscar is still settled on the seafloor. Trying to... Her screws are turning, but she is not going anywhere. Look how many holes this thing has in it. Okay, we're going to keep running for a few more minutes. And I'll cut my engines and take a listen. Let's have our helicopter RTB. Gone. Lyco. Aircraft returning to base. Our helicopter is back, and we are going to order it to come in for a landing so it'll rearm. And it looks like our Mark 46 torpedo has acquired the Oscar. Oh, here we go. It's going to hit. Is that going to be it for her? There we go. The Oscar has finally been destroyed. The Victor managed to evade both of our Mark 46 torpedoes. However, we will rearm our helicopter and send it back towards the Victor 1 to have it engage once again. Okay, the helicopter is closing in on the target. I'm gonna have my torpedo drop right in front of the Victor One. We have another launch from the Victor One. Looks like a weight homer, not entirely surprising. So in that case, let's increase speed, 32 knots, and do a 180. Okay, our torpedo has been released from the helicopter. There she is. Okay, let's drop another one, please, right on top of her. See if that'll end up acquiring right off the bat. There is ice ahead, and I'll have to check out the ice and make sure we are in the clear here. Okay, drop her right there, please. Hopefully this immediately acquires and gives the Victor little to no time to react. Torpedo's rocketing straight down towards the target. That is good. Oh my gosh, and it... Went off. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. One torpedo. We'll have it zigzag about. Fire at the Victor. Shoot two four. Okay. Aye, two four away. And we'll have another one do the same. Head Shoot this way. Five, five away. The Victor has been hit. A Mark 46 torpedo hit her in the stern. Our second Mark 46, unfortunately, is not tracking. However, we have two more on the way. Let's have our helicopter once again, RTB, reduce speed to 10 knots. See if we can actually go down to five. Just so I can try to listen. 
because we did see the Victor one fired a couple more torpedoes our way. These torpedoes look pretty good, our own Mark 46 torpedoes. They should activate soon. Okay, our helicopter has arrived back home. The Victor one is trying to get the heck out of the area. However, going to immediately rearm. Oh, I didn't mean to stow it, but let's get it back on the flight deck and take our helicopter off. We'll have it track down this Victor. Yeah, she's just running, which frankly is quite smart. However, our helicopter will be able to catch her and track her down. Head straight towards the target. Additionally, I do not want to lose her because she is 13 kilometers away. Let's change course towards the target. Increase speed to 20 knots. Go finish her off. All of our torpedo tubes are reloaded as well, which is nice. Our helicopter is closing in on the target. It looks like our Mark 46 torpedoes that we fired from the ship ran out of steam before they arrived, which is unfortunate. They were fired out of range, but that's okay. Let's get ready to drop. Let's drop right on top of the Victor 1, please. And this just reminds me how fun Cold Waters with Dot Mod is. The surface combat is quite entertaining, honestly. And really, it just gets me even more excited for Sea Power. As a matter of fact, quite a few of the modders from Dot Mod have been picked up from by the sea power team which is quite cool okay weapon has been dropped um drop another i was hoping it would immediately acquire the target unfortunately it did not right there please drop there we go torpedo away and it did not immediately acquire either so we have two torpedoes swinging around my goodness okay let's chase this thing down what's her speed the victor is moving at 32 knots however torpedo has acquired one has i'm sure once this completes its circle it will acquire as well and this victor one will have two torpedoes to deal with we'll have our helicopter continue to orbit yep both torpedoes have acquired love to see it that noisemaker is throwing one of them off but the other is still running hot straight and normal towards the victor it's impressive she's able to go this quickly still despite her damage but i think this is going to be it for the poor victor one looks like this fish will be the first to impact noisemakers throwing both of them off unfortunately both are going but this one okay it's reacquired right off the bat are we going to get a second hit let's see proximity fuse there we go went off torpedo impact second one there we go second impact right there all right that victor took a total of three mark 46 torpedoes and she is momentum is carrying her to the surface maybe negative no she is going down Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it, and it was quite fun taking out one of the Royal Navy ships. Anyway, let me know what you would like to see next in Cold Waters with Dotmon, but until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.